But I'm not doubting that this does work. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, you've st you've stuck your lashes. Your lashes are peeling off. Hello, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Or if you haven't been here before, then. Welcome to my channel. We are doing another TikTok hacks video. I've done a couple of these in the past and they're actually really fun. Even if you don't have TikTok, if you don't like TikTok, if you're not a TikTok fan, I still love a good makeup hack and giving it a go and seeing if it actually works. I've got five new TikTok makeup hacks that I've saved and I'm gonna be following them and seeing if they actually work, if they actually make my makeup look even more flawless. All of the makeup that I'm using in this video is actually from Look Fantastic, who I am partnering with. So they are sponsoring this video and I am also a summer ambassador for Look Fantastic, which is probably one of the easiest brand partnerships that I've ever accepted because they've got so many good brands and brands that I use all the time on their website. Just for example, like in today's video, we've got Revolution Pro, we've got NYX, we've got Benefit, Revlon, we've got Too Faced, and um, I've just realised that I've accidentally got eyeshadow all over this concealer. <laughs> we've got Laura Mercier, we've got Pixie. They've got so many good brands, so I will leave everything linked down below. Oh, and also the most important thing, I have a discount code, you can use my discount code if you want to. So basically every single product that I'm putting on my face today, you can buy from their website, which I will leave linked down below. Let's just get into it shall we so i think i've got five tiktoks or is it six technically six but one of them i'm gonna like combine oh and if you want to follow me on tiktok it's just at soph does life i know it's a bit of a love it or hate you thing but it i promise you like it's pretty addictive and it's not all just dancing either people think that tiktok is just like a load of you know it's not just that Okay, I literally have just got distracted on TikTok for about 10 minutes looking at the timer on my camera. Good start. So, okay, the first hack isn't actually to do with my face. It's a hair one, but it involves makeup. This is by a user called at Ellie Makeup Artist with two Ts. And the music that she's used over it is just a Beyonce song. So I'm not actually gonna put the music in just in case this video gets copyrighted. But she is using a eyeshadow and a spoolie and a brush and also an eyeliner pen and a brow mascara in her hairline to make it look fuller. So I deliberately tied my hair up for this video because I don't know if you can see here, I've got these little patches where I've just got a load of like baby hairs and it kind of looks like I've got a ball patch. But I know that a lot of people can relate to this, like having, um, you know, like little baby hairs here that are lighter, which is totally fine, not a problem. But if you do want to fill it in a bit, you can use eyeshadow, brow products and liner. I mean, I probably couldn't use liner because my hair's not black. So I'm going to use the Benefit Browsings Pro Palette and I think I'm going to try okay let's try this shade first which is an eyebrow powder obviously and if that one's not dark enough i will try the darkest shade so i'm just gonna use the angled brush to dip in and then i guess i just to start filling in this little patch and i'm also going to do bits down here as well i don't want it to look too fake so i'm trying to do like little hair strokes. Is that looking any better? You know what, I'm gonna try and use a fluffy brush and kind of press it into my hair because I don't really want to disturb my ponytail. I don't want it to like feel sticking out. Comparing the two sides, I feel like this one does look a little bit better, but maybe I need a slightly darker shade. Or does that look really obvious? I don't actually know. Oh, that definitely does look better if you compare it to this side. So maybe the color match is not exact, but it definitely works. Someone tell me in the comments, does that look too obvious or does it kind of look okay? Maybe it is a little bit too kind of warm toned because my natural hair is quite ashy. Then I'm gonna use a little bit of Benefit Gimme Brow. I'm just trying to figure out which shade. So let's go with a bit of the shade three. This is the Gimme Brow Plus. Oh no, now it's all sticking up. Definitely works and I think that is a pretty good hack if you've got a colour that's close enough to your natural hair. So the next two hacks I'm actually going to combine together because there's two different concealer techniques that I want to try. One of them I have sort of tried before but I did it in a different way. And that is to go in with a really light concealer under your eyes, a much darker concealer for your contour and then put your foundation kind of over the top of it in the gaps. I've done something similar where I just did my bronzer and my blush and my highlight under my makeup before but I haven't done it with like the concealer and the bronzer. This hack comes from a user called at Kate Bake 7 Sis, I'm about to change your whole life. So instead of putting concealer and bronzer on after your foundation, we're gonna do it before. 
Okay. To change the user concealer, that is much lighter than you would typically use. Now you're gonna take your beauty blender and I like to use something to wet it. You're going to look like you just dumped your face in battle flower. That's okay. Now you're going to take a liquid bronzer shade that is much darker than you would typically use. At this point, you're probably gonna scare yourself a little bit, but that's also okay. At this point, you should definitely be questioning me. But wait, put your foundation on like you would normally do. This is what it looks like after foundation is on. Fake, a little bronzer. That is a lot of product that she just put on her face. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, let's just ignore my um one fingernail that is completely different to the rest of them. However, there is another concealer hack that I want to try, which is from Amanda Ensing, who is another YouTuber. I'm going to show you this life-changing facelift concealer hack. This is how I used to do my concealer, triangle under the eye. It's a very bright, very dramatic concealer everywhere. With this technique, you strategically place it on the inner and outer corner of the eye going upwards, and this will lift the face. If you have dark circles, just use a color corrector before your concealer. This uses less product, so it looks more natural, but you can use it for everyday or dramatic looks. I always set my concealer with a powder just to make sure that nothing creases. This is literally a facelift without the surgery, and your face will be slouched. Okay, so her face looked amazing. It's kind of like a self facelift using the concealer. So I think what I'm gonna do is combine both of those. So I'm not gonna put on like the masses of concealer under my eyes. I'm gonna do what Amanda did and do that, but do it underneath my foundation and see if it still works out. But first I'm gonna put on my primer. I'm using my NYX Honey Dew Me Up, which is actually one of my favorites. And I'm actually getting pretty low on this. The last time I used this in a video, I dripped it all over my eyeshadow brushes. And then I didn't even realize until like, Halfway through the video when they were all wet. I just love this primer so much. For my under eyes, I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I normally use the shade Almond or Porcelain. Today I'm using Snow because this one is a little bit light for me. This is one of my all-time favorite concealers. And then I'm using the NYX Born To Glow Radiant Concealer in this shade. Hello. Warm Caramel for my contour. Well, it's more of a bronzer because, you know, caramel shade. She puts her concealer here on the very inner part of her eye. Here down the side of her nose like this and then from the corner of her mouth let's do one side and see what the difference looks like i'm not really sure what this mouth bit does but sure kind of works you know with the whole eye thing but i don't know whether it's just an illusion because i will need to conceal here because i don't know if you can see but my eyelids are veiny that was definitely more than enough concealer though instead of doing the full-on triangle under your eyes but yeah i really think that has lifted my eye and the concealer kind of does that anyway so i don't really get this mouth bit though like i don't really think that did anything for my face oh god i think i put too much on this side <laughs> definitely put too much on this side i do think this would probably work best either if you've already done your eyeshadow or like she did over the top of her foundation but i am not doubting that this does work and then for my contour okay this is really quite warm tone put some around my hairline although my hairline is probably orange enough do a bit down my nose because i do normally contour my nose she also does it like this on her chin which i've never done before and i'm just taking a brush to blend this out okay because it blends out quite light i have a feeling this is not going to show through my foundation but we will give it a shot. I do love this concealer for cream bronzing though because it just blends out so beautifully. Just adding a little bit more and now we go in with foundation. I'm going with my trusty Revlon Colorstay which is another one of my all-time faves. This is in the shade 220 Natural Beige. Bloop. I guess this way you kind of don't need as much foundation. So I'm just kind of avoiding my cheek area where I already put the concealer, blending over it a little bit. This actually looks pretty flawless and you can still see the bronzing around the sides of my face, a little bit on my nose, but I probably would add a little bit more, but then she does add a bit more powder in the video. I would do that again. Also, I felt like I didn't need as much foundation because these areas already had the concealer on, so it kind of covers at the same time as doing the bronzing and contouring, you know? Yep, I approve. So I'm then gonna set my face with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. This is so good. So as the girl did in the video, I'm just gonna add a little bit of powder, bronzer, slash contour, just to give myself a bit more definition. Um, for this, I'm using the NARS Laguna Bronzer, and then I'm using the matte version for my nose contour. The other two hacks that I've got are for my eyes and my lips, so I'm just gonna do the rest of my face makeup now. 
For my blush, I'm using the Bare Minerals Bounce and Blur Blush in Coral Cloud, which I feel like I've spoken about about 50 times on my channel. Then for my highlight, this is actually a new one that I haven't tried before from Pixi. I picked this out from the Look Fantastic website just because I've got a Pixi highlighter palette that I've tried before that I absolutely love. And I've seen this one on the website for a while and really wanted to test it. It's called Creamy Gold. So I'm just taking a little bit of this. Oh my god. I feel like Pixi is such an underrated brand when it comes to makeup. Like, look at that. That is stunning. Brow bone. Inner corners. And then for my eyebrows, I'm using my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil and the 24 Hour Brow Setter. My eyebrows are definitely sisters, not twins today. So the next hack is a pretty well-known one. This one comes from Nicole Concilio. I think that's how you say her name. And that is to use a bit of card or paper or something with a, you know, straight edge and hold it up against your eyeshadow while you're blending. Then you take it away and you've got a super crisp line. I know that people have done this with tape in the past, but I'm gonna try it with a bit of paper. Have you ever wondered how to get sharp looking eyeshadow? I got a hack for you. You're gonna need like a piece of cardboard or something with a sharp edge. Place it down in whatever direction you want it to go. Once you have it down, you do not wanna pick it up until you are done blending. Get in that crease and make sure you fan it out. Once you have it to where you want it to be, Remove it and you get that sharp edge, bitch. So this should be a pretty easy one. I'm not gonna do anything too complicated, so it's quite easy to follow. I'm using the Revolution Pro New Neutral Passion Palette. The packaging looks like this, it's just leopard print. And then on the inside, there is a mirror, which is great. And then there's these kind of pinky, red, neutral shades. I think today I'm gonna go for the pink and the red. Oh, I've just realized this is gonna be really hard to do while holding a mirror. How am I actually gonna do this? Because I don't have a mirror in front of me. I've balanced my bronzer with a mirror in it on the strap of my camera that's dangling down from my tripod. If this falls and breaks, it is 100% my fault. So I'm gonna start with the shade Vice, which is the pink. And then I will go in with a bit of the red, which is called Intimate. I'm just holding it here at this sort of slanted angle. Then I'm just going in, oh, whoa, okay, that was a lot more pigmented than I expected. Just going in with my eyeshadow, and I'm gonna fully blend it up to the edges of the cardboard, holding it quite flat against my skin. Oh, I have a feeling that I wasn't holding it flat enough. Oh, it really, really does work. And then I'm just gonna go back in on my inner corners. Wow, can you believe that was, that? this was all with one dip of this palette. I haven't used this palette before, by the way, but I know that I like Revolution Pro stuff, so I wanted to give it a go. Let's take the red, which is intimate, and I'm just gonna put this like all over my lid. Okay, then I'm just gonna line up that card again to where I had it before. And again, I'm just going in with the red shade. Oh yeah. There is no denying that works super well. I'm just taking a little bit more of the pink shade on a clean brush and I'm just really gonna tap off the edges and I'm just gonna use that to blend out the edges but I'm not actually gonna touch that straight line because I think it looks pretty cool. And then I'm just taking the same pink and the same red shade just on my lower lash line. And then I'm just taking this shimmery white shade down here and I'm gonna put that on my inner corners. Even though I've already got highlighter there, I just wanna brighten them up a little bit more. And a little bit more on my brow bone as well. I think I just wanna keep this matte. I don't think I wanna add any shimmer. And then I'm just gonna do the exact same on my other eye. The tricky bit is trying to get the angles lined up properly. And there we go, that one was super simple, but super effective. So the next hack involves eyeliner and lashes. So I actually saw this on Kaylee MUA's Instagram. I think that's how you pronounce her name. She is so talented, but she posted this. Okay, so I've been seeing this eyelash trick all over TikTok, and I need to try it. Putting your eyelash on the top of your liner as opposed to on your lash line. Just makes you look great. You feel me? I'm gonna do it like I normally would on this side so I compare it to the other side to see if it really does make a big difference. So this is what it looks like when I normally do my makeup. I have my false lashes stuck as close to my lash line as possible. I put the glue on my eyelash. I'm gonna place the lash on top of the liner. Oh, so you can see there's a gap in between the lashes and my natural lashes. This here is the difference. This side looks way more rounded. This side looks like I've had a facelift. Wow. Okay. I'm gonna give it a go. I'm gonna go ahead and do my liner first, like she did. I'm gonna use the Benefit Roller Lash Eyeliner and the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. At least I've got an easy guide for my eyeliner now. The lashes 
that I'm going to be using are the Ardell Faux Mink Wispies. I don't think I've tried these before, but I saw them on the website and thought that they looked really nice. These are the exact type of lashes that I usually go for, like super wispy. Okay, so I think I am going to have to trim these just a little bit. I think the biggest mistake that a lot of people make with eyelashes is that they don't trim them down to fit their eyes. And then you end up with it like super drooping your eyes down. Drooping your eyes down, is that English? I just can't imagine this working. Let's give it a go. Okay, so instead of sticking the end down, I'm sticking it to the top of my eyeliner. I think it just looks like my eyelash is peeling off. And I'm pretty sure you would get the same sort of effect if you just had some lashes that really fan out at the edges. Do you kind of see what I mean? It sort of just looks like I haven't stuck my lashes on properly. I don't know about this one. I think if anybody looked at you close up, they might be like, oh, you've st you've stuck your lashes, your lashes are peeling off. And then you'd have to be like, no, silly. I was just following a TikTok makeup hack. I really like these lashes though. They barely feel like you're wearing lashes. Oh, why do I feel like it worked better on the other eye? Yeah, what the heck? Why did it work better on this eye? Maybe it was the kind of shapes that I did my eyeliner. Okay, well, maybe it does work. I don't, mm, I don't know. I think, yeah, I would just go for a pair of fanned out lashes and you'd be fine. And then the final hack that I have to share with you is a lip one, which if this works, it's gonna be quite exciting. I have seen people do this before, but I've never actually tried it myself. This one is from a user called Vike Twins. So this is how I used to contour my lips with bronzer all over until I did this. So take the bronzer and make a circle on the top lip and overline the bottom lip. Next, go in with your lip liner. Now take the concealer and cover the sides of the lips. This is the best because this makes your top lip look so fuller and it's a total game changer. Okay. So she uses a bronzer to contour a circle around her lips and then she kind of cuts off the sides of her lips with concealer. So I'm taking my Laguna bronzer again. I'm gonna contour a little bit under my lip and a little bit around the top of it. Then I'm taking my lip liner. This is the MAC Lip Pencil in Boldly Bare. So I'm kind of rounding off my Cupid's bow and then I'm gonna come down like this. And then my bottom lip, I'm gonna line as normal. <laughs> well, when I say normal, I'm gonna overline it a little bit. Oh, wow. Then I'm taking a little bit of concealer. Kinda just make the edges of my lips disappear. Oh my God, I look like a brat's dog. She only did it on the top lip, I'm so confused. Well, my lips definitely look like a different shape. I'm gonna finish this off with some of the NYX Lingerie Push Up Lipstick in the shade Bedtime Flirt. I forgot how much I love this colour. And then finally to finish this off, I'm using the Barry M Gloss Me Up Lip Gloss in the shade Sugar. Um, but I think rounding off my Cupid's bow made a bit of a difference. It kind of gives me the brat style lips. So this is the finished look. What do you guys think? And also let me know down below your favourite hack out of all of these. I think my favourite one was probably doing the concealer bronzer underneath my foundation because I think that made my base look really flawless. I think the only one that I probably wouldn't do is this eyelash one. Like, it didn't make that much of a difference. Wow, look at my lips. Okay, yeah, they definitely look bigger. <laughs> I'm just going to answer a question of the day. If you guys have got any more questions for me, leave them down below with the hashtag question of the day. Today's question comes from Clara Tosselli and she said, do you ever see yourself living in a foreign country? If yes, please come to Italy. I love you, so Congrats on your gaining that many new subscribers. Thank you so much. Um, personally, I don't think I could see myself living in a different country. Maybe going to a different country for like six months or something and then coming back. I don't think I would ever permanently move abroad. But I could definitely see myself, you know, living somewhere for maybe three months. That doesn't really count as living. That's more probably just like a trip. Um, but yeah, I, I, I could potentially see myself doing that. And I really, really want to come to Italy. I have been once before, but there is so much that I want to see. I really want to go to the Amalfi Coast. I want to go to Venice. Um, I want to go to Sicily. Um, there's so many nice places that I want to go to. So yeah, I will definitely be coming to Italy as soon as I feel comfortable enough to travel again. Right, so that's the end of this video. Like I mentioned, all of the makeup that I've got on my face right now, you can get from Look Fantastic. I will leave the links down below to all of the products and you can use my discount code which is just soph if you want to save 15% off. I've also got my own little list over on the website with some of my favourites so I will leave that link down below as well, kind of like my um, product picks for the summer. Thank you to Look Fantastic for sponsoring the makeup part of this video. That is it from me. If there are any other hacks that you want me to test, let me know down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!